Have you ever wondered how aircraft have evolved from the first primitive designs to the sleek, high-tech machines of today? If so, you're in for a treat. This incredible video about the C-450 Coleoptere is a stunning beetle with unique characteristics that make it stand out. So unique that it didn't even have traditional wings. This aircraft was an experimental airplane with an innovative design that made it stand out. Even though the project was eventually abandoned due to problems with technology and money, it remains an inspiration for creative aircraft design. Join us as we delve into the world of aircrafts and discover the incredible secrets of this remarkable plane called the C-450 Coleoptere. The C-450 was a cool prototype airplane developed by the French aerospace company Sud Aviation in the 1950s and 1960s. What made it so unique was its design. It didn't have any wings. Instead, it used flaps and rotors to generate lift and to stay in the air. This design was one of the first to use coleopter or beetle design, which aimed to increase lift and decrease drag by getting rid of traditional wings. The engineers at Sud Aviation were faced with the daunting task of designing an aeroplane that could fly without traditional wings, and they were not deterred by the challenges ahead. They knew that they were working on something groundbreaking, and were driven by a passion for pushing the boundaries of what was possible in aircraft design. As they worked on the C-450, the engineers had to rethink their approach to stability and control constantly. They tried everything from gyroscopes to computerized sensors and adding countless flaps and control surfaces to the airplane's body. Despite their efforts, the airplane remained challenging to control, especially in turbulent conditions. But hold on, there's something else you need to know. Another major challenge was the noise and vibration caused by the rotors used to generate lift. It was a significant problem not only for the pilots, but also for anyone on board the plane. The team worked tirelessly to refine the design and minimize these issues, but it was clear that there was still a long way to go before the plane could be used in commercial aviation. As the engineers at Sud Aviation continued to experiment with the design of the C-450 Coleoptere, they soon realized that they were facing a new and unexpected challenge. The rotors used to generate lift caused making it difficult for pilots to control the airplane and uncomfortable for passengers on board. The team worked tirelessly to address this issue, testing a range of different materials and designs to dampen the noise and reduce the vibrations. They experimented with everything from new rotor materials to novel sound dampening techniques, but nothing seemed to work as well as they had hoped. Despite these challenges, the engineers refused to give up. They were driven by a fierce determination to make this plane a success, and they continued to refine and tweak the design in search of a solution. However, in the end, they were forced to admit that the noise and vibration problem was too great to overcome, and the project was ultimately abandoned. Hold on to your seats, things are about to get even more exciting. Despite the challenges, the engineers at Sud Aviation remain committed to the project, driven by a passion for innovation and a desire to push the boundaries of what was possible in the aviation field. They they continued to refine the design of the plane, working to overcome each obstacle as it arose. Although the project was ultimately abandoned, the legacy of the C-450 Coleoptere lives on, inspiring a new generation of engineers and aviation enthusiasts to think outside the box and push the limits of what is possible. Unlike conventional airplanes that rely on wings to generate lift and provide stability, the C-450 Coleoptere used a unique design that relied on flaps and rotors instead. And that's not all. But before we move on, make sure to subscribe and stay updated with the latest and greatest in the world of luxury. Without the support of wings, this new design was more susceptible to the effects of wind, which caused it to sway and tilt unpredictably in the air. The absence of wings also meant that the aircraft had to rely on other control systems to maintain stability, including gyroscopes and mechanical sensors. While these systems helped to some extent, more was needed to fully address the stability issues that the aircraft faced. On July 25, 1959, a group of engineers and pilots gathered at a remote airfield in France to conduct flight tests on the C-450 Coleoptere. The tests aimed to evaluate
evaluate the airplane's performance under different conditions and identify any remaining issues that needed to be addressed before the aircraft could be certified for commercial use. The team had spent months preparing for this day, and everyone was excited to see the new plane in action. You won't believe what happened next. As the pilot taxied the aircraft down the runway, the engineers watched nervously from the sidelines, their eyes fixed on the sleek, futuristic shape of the aircraft as it gained speed. Suddenly, something went wrong. The C-450 Coleopter started to veer off course, and the pilot struggled to regain control. The engineers could see the airplane swaying and tilting, its rotors spinning wildly as it careened towards the edge of the runway. For a moment, it seemed as though disaster had been averted. The plane seemed to be leveling out, and the pilot appeared to have regained control. But then, just as suddenly, the airplane pitched forward, its nose diving toward the ground. There was a sickening crunch as the C-450 Coleopter hit the tarmac, its body crumpling under the force of the impact. For a few moments, there was nothing but silence as the engineers and pilots stared in shock at the wreckage of the airplane. Stay tuned to find out the shocking truth. The cylindrical wing of this new aircraft was a key feature of its unique design. However, on the day of the fatal crash, it was also the cause of the aircraft's downfall. The cylindrical wing was designed to provide lift and stability, but also created a significant amount of turbulence and drag. Creating a significant amount of drag made the airplane less efficient in flight. The engineers had to work to minimize the drag and optimize the design of the wing, but this was a difficult challenge challenge that contributed to the project's ultimate failure. As the pilot attempted to land the C-450 Coleopter on the runway, he encountered unexpected turbulence caused by a crosswind. The cylindrical wing, which was not well suited to handle this turbulence, began to wobble and shake violently. The pilot struggled to maintain control of the aircraft, but the wing continued to create turbulence and drag, making it difficult to stabilize the plane. Despite the pilot's best efforts, the plane was pulled off course by the turbulence and crashed into the ground. Ground. The impact was devastating, and the aircraft was destroyed. It was a tragic end to the C-450 Coleopter's brief but remarkable career, and it underscored the dangers of experimenting with new and untested aircraft designs. In the aftermath of the crash, investigators examined the wreckage of the C-450 Coleopter and determined that the cylindrical wing was a significant contributing factor to the accident. While the design had shown promise in the early stages, stages of development, it was ultimately unable to withstand the forces of nature and the unpredictable conditions of real-world flight. It was a tragic end to the project. Although the cause of the crash was never fully determined, many believed it was the result of a design flaw or mechanical failure. Whatever the cause, it was clear that the C-450 Coleopter was not yet ready for commercial use, and the project was ultimately abandoned. Today, the C-450 Coleopter remains a haunting reminder of the risks and challenges that come with pushing the boundaries of innovation and design. Its legacy lives on as a fascinating example of innovative thinking in aircraft design. The lessons learned have helped to inform the development of future aircraft designs and the pursuit of new and better ways to fly continue to this day. The C-450 Coleopter may not have taken to the skies as a commercial airplane, but its impact on the aviation field will be felt for generations to come. The incident of it crashing down on Earth served as a valuable learning experience for the the aviation industry by demonstrating the iterative nature of aircraft design. If you want to know more about such innovations and experiments from the world of aeronautics, click here to see what happened to the ring wing planes. I'll see you there in just a second.